Good afternoon everybody, I hope you're all doing okay. I just thought I'd just jump on um, just to say hi and hope you're all doing okay and just a little quick, quick catch up on about where I am and what I've been up to. I've been so, so busy the last couple of months. Um, I basically went away with my son for a little break, just to have a bit of self-care and to teach my son how to self-care. He's not had a holiday since pre-pandemic, so he was tired and everything. So I thought, right, mister, I'm taking you for a little break. So me and him went away for um, five days in Lanzarote, or Lanzarote, sorry, I'm getting all tongue-tied and twisted today. And we had a lovely time. We went and saw some lovely sights and we went and had some beautiful meals together and it was just nice to spend some time with him I think because we're so busy as a family my daughter's always busy my son's always busy so it was just nice just to hang out with him and see where he is and where his mind's at and get him to relax and it was lovely just to watch him swim in the sea and see his sun kissed cheeks and everything so when I got back I felt like I'd been hit head on, you'll have to excuse me because I'm working with a new selfie stick at the moment. My other one disintegrated about five minutes before I made this vlog, so I thought, oh god, I'm going to have to have a go at this new one. Anyway, what today I'd like to just have a quick touch on is grief, because there's been a lot in the news about certain stars dying, especially Matthew Perry, oh gosh, how sad was that? And um, I remember our friend's video has been played non-stop in my house when my daughter was a teenager she still plays them now she was obsessed with it so I've sort of like had years and years of friends being played over and over again I'm not to know the script of every episode because I used to hear it every night when she was in the bedroom she used to have it playing so it was quite sad to hear that but grief we need to touch on because obviously we're coming up to the seasonal period and that's when then the emotional emotions of grief come to a head and they rear their ugly face because it's a time where you start to miss people, people that you've lost in your life. So I just want to retouch on the importance of keeping in touch with everybody. Grief is a horrible, horrible mixed bag of emotions. You don't ever get over losing somebody close to your heart you just learn to live with them feelings one minute you can be okay next minute you can be sad next minute you can be angry you know it's, it's absolutely horrible so it's really important that you do keep in touch with somebody you know if you know somebody that's lost somebody that might be feeling it especially now I mean I don't like Christmas I'm not a big fan of Christmas for that reason you know, that's a time where I miss my two sisters. You know, you realise that there's places missing around your Christmas table and things like that. Um, so, you know, it really is important to just show a little bit of love and a little bit of kindness. You know, I'm oh, sorry, it's Barney. He's just like, <laughs> he likes to get in on the ads. He's just been told off for barking. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah, yeah, it's, it is really, really important that you do touch base with somebody, especially around that time, make some time out, you know, they might not want to join in on whatever's going on, but, you know, if you let them know that you're there and that you care, you know, because those emotions don't ever, ever go away, you know, believe me, so it is important, especially in the run up to it. Christmas and everything that you show a little bit of love and a little bit of kindness to somebody. Right, I'm going to go because I'm just getting ready and I'm going to go out for something to eat with some friends again when I was like, I don't know, I seem to be very popular at the moment. So I'm just going to go and have a meal. So that's why I've got a dress on and it's not black for a change. So I'm trying to jizz it up with some sort of colour at the moment. Um, song, right, there is a song that's going round at the moment and at first I used to feel sad when I used to hear it because it used to remind me of my sister, my sister Jill when she died because it was like the words of it, you know, it was very similar to what we were going through before she passed away suddenly, so and it's nice to see it now back and everybody doing little dances to it 
um, and it was quite refreshing and made me like the song again. So, because I used to like get really sad when I used to hear it, it used to take me back to when I lost our Jill. But now, um, you know, it brings a smile to my face, and especially when you see on on all the social media sites and people doing little dances to it. And it's P Diddy, I'll be missing you. And it's quite apt, you know, the words to it if you have a listen to it, because it's like it just reminds people what people can go through with grief. Because P Diddy wrote that for his best friend Biggie when he lost him. So yeah. Yeah, so we'll go with that one. Anyway, take care. Hopefully I'll see you all soon. I'm really, really busy. I've been doing a lot of mentoring lately. Um, I'm hoping to go down to London in the next few weeks. And also been asked back to go back to Dublin as well. So hopefully I'll be doing that before Christmas. So it's just busy, busy, busy at the moment. But I'm trying to make time for me and not get too overwhelmed with it all. Anyway, take care. And see you soon. Bye.